everyone, this is Lisa from Advanced Rehab Centre. I'm about to go to Matthew's exercise physiology session uh, to show you his new home exercise program. Um, it's a good day to show you guys this because of all the rain, he's going to have to adapt his program to be indoors. Um, this program was designed so that he can do it in rain, hail or shine, so we'll go see how he goes. Okay Matthew, show us your exercise template. Here is the exercise template. One full body exercise, two lower limb, two upper limb, and a core balance exercise. Great, and what's that at the bottom? A challenge task. Great, so Matthew's got all these um, exercises that we've done over the past eight weeks. So we've got lower limb, full body, upper limb, core and balance, and then all these challenge tasks. So we're gonna pick a program to do together today. Okay. So for each circuit program, um, we do three rounds of all of these exercises and we do them for a minute and have two minutes of rest between each of the rounds. So today we've got squat to ball slam, high knee marching, wall push-ups, sideways walking, band bicep curls and four point kneeling. But today's challenge task, we've actually got to spend one and a half minutes at each exercise. So while we watch Matthew do his program, I'll tell you a little bit more about his condition. Matthew was born with Charcot-Marie Tooth Disease. It's a type of degenerative neuropathy that affects the nerves. Um, it results in gradual weakness in the muscles, um, muscle wasting and a loss of sensation. Um, and it's a disease that will progress throughout a person's life. So research shows us that doing light to moderate intensity resistance training about two to three times per week to target those large functional muscle groups can help maintain strength in the muscles um, that are less affected by uh, the disease. So in the program, we also focus on aerobic fitness to help improve his endurance um, and some balance work to address the falls risk um, that comes with having weaker muscles and impaired sensation. 